long play games. 45 minute, 15 second game. Got plenty of time to make the biggest blunders ever in the world when you've taken all the time in the world to think of your move. I'm going to capture the pawn here. Still working with the mantra that we're working on, the answer process. Looking at trying to find the key spaces, the key squares. They've come here because they want to stop the bishop from coming to this square. But the bishop can come here, as we know, to do a bit of baiting of the pawns. So it's not actually done that. They've moved a bit speedy, so they're blocking off all of the diagonals for the bishops, trying to take away the strengths. So we're going to simply castle. We don't need to rush this. I don't want to get into narration mode and um, make moves without actually calculating. So we've got plenty of time to hopefully try and find some half decent moves and there's no guarantee that we will find those decent moves or that we will get any advantages in the game. So we want to be clear on that. It just gives us that extra moment to maybe potentially do that. <laughs> gain some advantage. I want to bait some more pawns but try and improve the position of my bishop. So I'm wanting to come here to bring the bishop down to here, give my king some company. That's the general idea for my thought process going forward, this particular maneuver. Probably can expect the knight to jump out here to attack this unprotected pawn. Maybe bring the knight this way. Might bring it this way so that this pawn's got a bit of freedom to jump upwards. Oh, the baiting has worked. It doesn't mean it's guaranteed anything at all. Just because we are baiting pawns down. We are giving them space to actually get a bit further advanced down the board. But in my head, I'm terming that as a little bit of a weakness. So like we said, we want to come here. And obviously baiting more pawns to actually come and attack this area. So I'm going to bring the bishop here. So we're explaining what we're wanting to do. The queen is currently protecting. And like we said, it gives a bit of space for the pawn to actually, <coughs> excuse me, come and block off the power of the diagonal. So I think we're going to just simply do that and then get the knight up, depending on what the opponent does next. Got to be mindful, our bishop doesn't have any protection on it. Is attacking the weak square, but we don't have any further support. So long play games is where it's really at for the art of chess. If you're really wanting to play chess, um, the long play games are really the focal point for me. It's the good basis, the solid basis for um, understanding and enjoying the game a little bit more. So we've baited another pawn down. How many pawns are we baiting down in this process? Our knight can easily come here to attack their bishop now that we've got this pawn protected and that it's blunted the attack of their um, bishop. So I'm simply going to bring the knight up and attack the bishop because in our mantra, knights hunt the bishops in most cases. It's also got this pawn here. So you probably would assume either the bishop comes here or it goes back again to protect. But it hasn't done that, so we do have a free pawn. We can also capture the bishop and still get the pawn. So what is the move order? Do we go with the knight attacking the other bishop or do we take this powerful bishop off the board? It is powerful because at some stage it might sneak through. If we take with the queen, we are putting a check on the king. So that's putting them in a little bit of a sticky situation. The knight probably is going to come and defend. I think giving them a bit of a problem might be a better situation for us than actually just grabbing the knight with grabbing the bishop with the knight. So that moment to take that calculate, ooh, you know, for a brief second there, I thought, oh, is it checkmate? But can and the knight's there as well, protecting. Okay, but we do have like a check. And it does look like a checkmate because the king can't really go anywhere, can it? So if we take this bishop, oh, it's not, oh, it's checkmate. Yes. So these are the types of games that you must see. 
the long play games where you put in your thought processes in deeper thinking than the quick fast entertaining um, not so really educational type games such as bullet blitz rapid